Hello everybody, Beatles Butter here, and welcome back to another episode of Pixel Bits. The show that always loves to teach you new things, or make you reminisce on old mechanics. Today we're going over a very long forgotten mechanic. Granted, it still does exist, but we barely see it anymore. And that is fall damage. Fall damage is very far and few between in game modes. Nowadays, we can only see it in free play infrequently and battle royale infrequently. Other than that, we never see fall damage in it outside any other mode. But that wasn't always the case. Ages ago, and long since before battle royale was even out, battle passes were out, fall damage existed in every mode. It was added into every mode no matter what you did. Even if you double jumped before you hit the ground, or if you used a jetpack, you would still take ball damage. You just needed to stop yourself at a point where fall damage wouldn't kick in. Granted, fall damage did set up for Battle Royale, so it was, it was implemented before Battle Royale, and then later implemented into Battle Royale. But since then, they've basically gone away with fall damage. Because now, nowadays, if you start falling from a great height, you'll just deploy your glider, or go into free fall, where you can then deploy your glider. So really, fall damage isn't really around anymore. The only ways to really see it, to my knowledge, is not only a private match, a private match with realistic movement. Now I'm going to also swap to a third person view for this. And let me put on a password so nobody joins me. And we'll go on to... Probably the best place is Heaven Garden. Now, fall damage really is a simple mechanic. It's in most video games nowadays. But, it's very simple to understand. You fall from a high place, you take damage. Now let me get rid of my jetpack as do not change the outcome of this. I will jump. And I take damage. This scales the farther you fall. That wasn't much of a fall either as well. You gotta realize my armor gives me 140 health. So we really take a lot of damage. So let me swap to base armor so I have, you know, 100 health. Whoops. Camera froze. I keep forgetting. That happens every time I go in and out of armory. Now, let me just Ewo right quick. So now, I have 200 health. Let me head up to the top of the tree. If I remember correctly, back when I used to test fall damage in the olden days, back when it was a very new mechanic, Jumping from the top of this tree was enough to outright kill a player. Yes, there was no cap on how high fall damage could go. So from, from about here all the way down into the water. And yeah, that's about right. It is possible to outright die from falling. Now, if we want to test just how much fall damage that is, the highest health we can get to is using ultimate defense. With that, I now have, you know, 180 health. Or no, 280 health. Let me just regen my gear as we go up the tree again. Because you gotta remember, back then, I don't think health was as high. We still only had about... I think we still had maybe like 70, 80 health. I can't remember exactly how high health got. I know health got to 45, and I think armor got to 45. So it may have been like 90 to 100 health. But now, this is with the most amount of health you can possibly have. Still kills you. So, yeah, fall damage is very harsh. Or at least was very harsh. Granted, it did not exist in every mode for long. It only took about an update or two for them to fully just delete fall damage from every game mode. See, look at that. I jumped from just the top of there down. 
it doesn't take much to actually activate fall damage. And that was from there to the water, and I lost a very large chunk of my armor. And this was about how harsh fall damage was. If you so much as fell from this kind of height, you would lose a solid chunk of your health. Making you easily susceptible to a one-shot to the head, or even to the body, based on how far you fell. Granted, I'm pretty sure Double Jump actually can still save you, but you have to do it just before you hit the ground. Because there's that. That was without me double jumping to save myself. But now, if I were to double jump just before hitting the ground... Nope, that doesn't save you. I remember that used to be a mechanic back when it was first added, but I guess they just outright left it in its archaic form. So yeah, ball damage. It was a very brutal mechanic. And now we don't see it anymore. This is the only way, to my knowledge, to really see it in its true form. And even then, it is a very brutal thing. So, if you really want to test out fall damage for yourself, maybe see exactly how much damage you take upon hitting the ground, or the exact height where you die at, best place to try is most likely Heaven Garden, maybe Sky Islands to really test fall damage. I don't know how to measure in units in this game. You know how, like, TF2 has thing called hammer units, which is, you know, distance and whatnot. But, I really do not know how to test distance, so... Hey, for those that really want to test fall damage and find the exact height where it will kill you no matter the armor, best place to test is Heaven Garden and or Sky Islands. So, from that, I'm going to leave you all with the end of the episode. Fall damage was very much something that didn't last long in all game modes and now has only been put in very few. So this has been Pixel Bits, Episode 4, Fall Damage. If you really enjoy this series, hit the like, subscribe, and comment. Really help this video in the algorithm. Things like that really help this series go a long way. And just maybe leave your ideas in the comment section below as well, because I I could use ideas for this, even though I have been thinking of my own ideas as well. This one, though, was recommended by Eternal in my Discord server, which will be linked in the description, which has a channel for Pixelbit ideas. So, feel free to leave your ideas for this, because I remembered fall damage, but it just never really passed my mind that I should do an episode on it. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching this episode of Pixelbits. I really love doing this series. This has been so much fun to relive these memories. So, like, comment, subscribe. I'll have the end card come up on the previous episode and the playlist to the entire series. So, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Pixel Bits.